in first place. So don't let up on the ice climbs, Billy Boy. You can forget about the race and the regionals. Well, if you take it like Superman, I'm gonna have to dig you out of the snow. <laughs> if you want to win big, my friend, you gotta take big chances. Maybe. Maybe is the wrong attitude. What's it gonna take to make you a believer? Oh, is that why you nominated me team captain? <laughs> Whatever works. A little ego boost is all you need to make you a champion. Yeah, sure. For me, I got other words. Like what? Speed? Sports and sense of humor, Billy. I'm ready for the Nationals. I'm gonna put the mojo on this mountain. You got that? I do! I do! Will the judges report to the finish line for the final heat? Thank, Thank you. you. Hey. Get up here, bro. Good day for you. How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, I like to ski myself. I'll take this All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Billy. Woo! Yeah, man. Let's go, go, go. Horse is clear. Race are ready. Your attention, please. Next, Next racer at the starting gate, Bill Two, one, go! That was good. good. You looked great on the moguls, but is something wrong? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, right. go. Frank, this is Bill. Can you tell Rick to look out for the uh, ice on the S-turn? It's real bad. Yeah. this morning, that's great. Okay, in two weeks, we have the regionals. Saturday's the elimination, Sunday's the finals. Then after that, we have the nationals in New Hampshire. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of hard work, a lot of discipline. I want to see you concentrate. I want to see you push yourself to the edge. A good life is to dream away. I never want to see any one of you give up on a dream. Look, I know I said it before, but I'm going to say it again. Some of you are hard to hear it. No beer, no hard stuff, of course, no drugs. Now, do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. You're racing for the whole community. They're behind you 100%. Which reminds me, I'd like to thank Joe's dad and his booster club for raising the money for the ski jackets. For uh, paying the expenses for our trips. Uh, 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 they also promised us that if any one of you qualifies for the Nationals in New Hampshire, they'll flip the bill for the whole team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What did I forget? It's uh, team captain. All right. And before everybody goes home, I promised I'd give you the result of your election for your new team captain. The winner is Joseph Brock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. We could all be going to New Hampshire. Woo! I've invented these things. I've never been able to get used to them. Really? Yeah. Yeah, let me help. <laughs> you. You know, you didn't ask me who I voted for. Let me guess, Joe. No. I voted for you. And I shouldn't have. Look what you did. It's tacky to vote for your brother. What's Joe think of that? <laughs> he could have cared less. He knew he was going to win, anyhow. I wonder why. <laughs> it wasn't just because my dad put the sponsors together. He's great. It's kind of fun having a brother everybody likes. Yeah, everybody likes a pusher. You know, if Joe doesn't supply him, somebody else will. Yeah, but he's team captain. 
That should mean something. No, why are you being so goody-goody? Come on, I'm not saying I don't down a few beers every once in a while, but I don't drive when I do it. And I definitely don't downhill when I do it either. So who does? I don't know, Rick, today after the race. That's between Rick and my brother. Yeah, but you know Rick. Drugs could really mess him up. Baby, you can't worry about it. Everybody's got to take care of themselves. Where'd you get that line, Joe? I'm sorry. Okay. So you lost a race and an election. Don't take it out on Joe. Kathy's just in the... me. Here. Now, okay? Play. <laughs> hey, Billy! Hey, Billy! Yo, we got the party up. Tina, you want to get us some food, please? Why are you coming? Just do what I think. So I won a race today. I wanted everybody to celebrate. I just didn't think uh, my best birdie would turn out to be a party pooper. Making a fool of yourself, Rick. What are you, high? <laughs> Very observant, Billy. Yeah, I'm high. I feel good. I feel great. You don't have to do drugs to feel great. <laughs> <laughs> just get out of life? Right. What, just climb a mountain and... Yeah, we used to do that, remember? I remember. Busting my butt and ending up as a loser. And I also remember this morning skiing the best run I ever did. Ever. And all it took was two little beauties. You said you learned. You said you'd quit. And to do it downhill... And... I whipped your butt, didn't I? Yeah, by taking crazy chances. <laughs> I found the way, buddy. I mean, that discipline stuff. <laughs> for losers. Smart guys. They take the shortcuts. Shortcuts? Hey, try one. Don't be a wimp. Just try one of my little shortcuts. Why are you doing this? You know, you used to be just like me. You got no guts. Are you listening to me? Listen to what? Guy who's so high he doesn't even know who his friends are? We had a deal, remember? The best ski is west of the Rockies. And east of the Rockies. But you don't see it, do you? Man, I am sick of being second. And I am sick of losing to you. I'm the winner now. That kills you, doesn't it? You're so damn jealous. Come on, Tina. Stop wasting time. Right down. Here we go. Rick, it's too icy. Go down. I know how to work this machine. Let's go to the top and ski down. No, I think you're too stoned. I'll tell you something. I ski better stone than most people do sober. Rick, I think you're crazy. What the hell is this? You're right. 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 Come on, it's so
Dad, this is Bill. I'm on slope four. We have a cold wind emergency. It's Rick. Better call a copter. Bill, I wish there was more I could tell you, but in these sort of accidents... Bill! Oh, we just heard. How is he? Unconscious. Is he really bad? Well, we took x-rays of his back and spine. Oh, man, what's wrong with him? Well, no more tomorrow. Excuse me. Oh, jeez, this is crazy, man. Rick is the best skier around. What do you expect? Anyone who tries to run like that when they're high. Rick was high? Paging Dr. Johnson, the cardiology. Dr. Johnson, cardiology. Look, there's nothing we can do here, so let's just get out of here, all right? I'd like to stay. Moncat. I will give you. Bill Reed? Yeah? You don't know me. I'm Sam Garvey. If you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you for a second. Privately. I understand that the uh, injured boy is friend of yours. Yeah, he is. Bill, I'm a narcotics officer. Do you know what these are? The nurse found them in his parka. Do you know how he got them? Someone is dealing drugs at your school, Bill, and we'd like to nail him. If you could help us, I'd appreciate it. I don't know where he got them. Well, if you suddenly remember, would you give me a call? Huh? Okay. You might save some kid from ending up where your friend is. Think about it. I think he's awake. Hi, Kathy. How do you feel? My legs. That's what they call a loss of function. They hope it's only temporary. Hope. Oh. Well, when they stick you with that needle in the morning, they'll probably say, ouch. Hey. Shh. You just rest, OK? I'm not going anywhere. Hey, I didn't get a chance to thank you last night. You know, for keeping the mouth shut. I didn't do it to you. Yeah, I know, Kat's a good kid. What size? Seven. Hey, listen, you can relax, because I'm going to quit dealing. I doubt it. No, no, I'm serious. You know, that narc, he wants some answers. The heat's on, you know? Oh, Kathy, we're out of sevens. Can you look in the back? Hey, look, I'm through, okay? Rick's been clean for six months. And then you messed him up. It wasn't the pills, anyway. Tina told me that the slope was in bad shape that day. <laughs> Billy, you really should have stopped him from going down that hill. What do you think I tried to do? Well, I, I guess you should have tried harder. That slope was closed. I'd say there was a little bit of negligence there. You and your dad are responsible for that accident. You heard what he said. The drugs had nothing to do with the accident. It was the ice on the slopes. And you believe that? Well, it could have happened that way. But it didn't. You know he's lying. Bill, would you stop the car? Kathy, would come on. Stop the car. I just feel like walking. Kathy, please try to understand. Bill, I do understand. You're doing what you have to do. Right. That's right. It would be easier for me to do nothing. Then why don't you? Because I can't. Your nobility kills me. You're not only hurting Joe. You hurt my folks. You hurt me. And you hurt the whole team. Kathy, you know that's not what I want. But that's what you get. You think the Booster Club is going to send us to New Hampshire once they find out some of the team members are messing with drugs? Bill, if you love me, you won't hurt my family, and you won't hurt me. I 
I know a guy in the ninth grade, he ate a whole what? bag of these things. A whole bag? You're kidding me. What, what happened? He tried. You're kidding me. What's he want? You want something, huh? <laughs> Dad? Yeah? I think I have to do something about a situation, but I'm kind of confused about why I feel I should. Well, does it matter? Why? Well, it does to me because I could maybe be getting someone into real trouble. But if I don't do it, other people could end up getting hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I mean, I hate the guy's guts. Is that why I want to nail him? Or am I really concerned about other people getting hurt? I'm not making much sense, am I? No, no, it makes sense. I, I think I know how you feel and what you're going through. You do? Yeah. We all face times like that. And it's a very lonely feeling because what it comes right down to is you have to decide for yourself. No one can do it for you. Was Mr. Goodwin? He's at the hospital. So? The test came back. The paralysis is permanent. Yes, narcotics, juvenile narcotics. Detective Garvey? Yes. You're gonna talk to me whether you like it or not. Excuse me a second, Jim. Why don't you try it, all right? Bill, I'm in the middle of teaching a lesson. I have nothing to say to you. I really thought I meant something to you. You know, you mean something to me. Do I? Is that why you did exactly what I asked you not to do? I suppose what you did to my brother means you love me. Kathy, I do love you. You're just so busy trying to protect your brother that you're blind to the truth. There were other ways, Bill. You didn't have to go to the cops. Yeah? How? Would a couple more kids end up in the hospital? I need you to believe me. Please. Please believe in me. Surprised to see me? What you did was very stupid. It was very embarrassing for me, too, you know? I mean, they took me down to the station house. They asked me a bunch of questions. They even searched my room. Not very cool, Billy. Not a very cool thing to do. Nothing happened. 
sure if my father ran a lousy ski area that didn't warn you about icy slopes, I might lie too, you know? <laughs> Save Dad from a lawsuit. That trail was closed. It was stoned. Oh, that's beautiful. Really beautiful, huh? Let's all blame it on a guy that's lying on his back in the hospital. His best friend is paralyzed. You guys know me better than that. I would never... Oh, yeah? We all could have gone to New Hampshire if this guy hadn't stick the cops on me. <laughs> now we'll probably lose our sponsors. They searched my house. What did they find? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They must have stashed it. What are you, a narc? Eddie, tell the truth. Has Joe been dealing to you? I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Joe will know what he's been doing. Why don't you do something about it? Why don't you just quit the team, Reed? No one wants you around. Come on, you guys, let's go. That's it! Good boy. Uh, uh, hold it a second, Bill. It's gonna be a real zoo here tomorrow, so I might not get a chance to tell you this, but uh, I just wanted you to know. You know, what you did was the right thing. And I was very impressed because there are moments in our lives where we want to do the right thing, but we don't because of reputation and ego and pocketbook, but you did. You stuck to your guns, and it took a lot of guts. I was, I was very proud of you. Well, we got a lot of work to do. Come on. Presenta Valley High, High School. School. Jefferson, Jefferson High School. School. Esterville High, High School. School. Kelly Darko High, High School. School. Birmingham High School. High School. the hatchet, what do you say? All I want you to do is tell the cops that you were wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. Wrong to wait so long before I blew the whistle. I have to live with that. All downhill racers, please stand by. Please stand by. What do you have to live with? So Rick get hurt real bad? And what'd you do? Sat in your butt, you did nothing. I'd rather lose every race for the rest of my life than have to live like that. Great speech, Nark. Ah, oh, forget about him. He's trying to mess up the race. Come on, you guys. Let's get up there. Come on, Eddie. Later. Kathy, let's, let's go. Come on. Come on now. I'll meet you guys up there. Next, Next up, up, downhill, downhill finals. Get the course clear. This is green deck. 24 on deck. Course is clear. Course is clear. Next race, we step up. Real nice speech you made down there, Billy. Racer ready? Get that. I'm gonna whoop your butt real good. What, you in a little speed? Me? Speed? <laughs> I never touch stuff. I'm a winner. Go! That's the difference between you and me, Joe. 
You have to win. Number 33, get ready. Let's go. Step up. Horse is clear. Race and ready. Three, two, one, go. Jefferson High, a new 